Hey guys, Bushcraft back again with another video. And yes, you've read the title right. The government is stopping you from living independently. And a lot of you guys already know a lot of this stuff, but you never know. Somebody may new come along and see some of these things that they just might not know. They, it's... It's, it's just the part of life. There are some people that still think that our government is one of the best governments in the world. Um, you have freedoms here that you don't have other places, which is true. Some co other countries, but we're, we're getting as bad as the other countries. Our freedom, our independent It's slowly grinding away. And it's been a long time since I've, I haven't felt this way. Um, in, the, in these last few years, it has gotten so bad. So, so bad. And I come up with this, it's kind of like a list, I don't know. But we're going to start off with the first one. And the first one is very important. Um, freedom of speech. Yes, our freedom of speech. And you say, well, we have the freedom to speak. Um, not entirely. <laughs> uh, even if you're watching me, there's some things I can't say because I, I will get shut down. Um, a lot of this I do understand with YouTube because it's, they have to make money. But some of it is a little fishy business going on by our um, our government. Yeah, um, when we've seen this, especially it, it, it's gotten it's full blown in your face since 2020. Um, it's just for social media alone. It, it's um, when you have. Somebody coming by and Biden Twitter, Elon Musk bought Twitter. And then he found out, oh, all these hidden things in here, and the the Twitter files. Yes, when the FBI controlled what you said and what you read and all this stuff. But the government has no control over it, does it? Yeah, right. Now, you, you might as well say that it could be the same thing with Facebook and Google, Instagram, and all those little social media things. It's, it's so bad that um, parents go to these teacher meetings and school board meetings and stuff where they get up and... They talk about their concerns, about stuff that your kids are dealing with in school, um, what, what they read and what they're being taught. They want to have the ability to say what their kids are learning. It's their kids. But no, they can't. These parents go in there and talk about things that your, their kids are being taught. Now, Tommy, you 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 would look so much better in a dress, wouldn't you? You you might want to start thinking of yourself as a girl. Yeah, that should not be taught in school. And other things that are math, science, history, English. You know that is school stuff. Not all this other stuff you have to make up weird weird names for. That's where our our freedom of speech is gone out the window. We have no we have no control over what we teach our kids now, unless you keep them locked up in your house. Um, the 
that's that's where the government has limited your speech. We'll put it limited your speech. <laughs> Number two, fitting uh, the Second Amendment. There's a reason a reason that our founding fathers number 1 freedom of speech number 2 the right to keep and bear arms it's not that we need to to go out and go hunting and stuff that's that's what the the certain people think of the government is oh we we let you go out so you can go hunting and stuff no it's to protect ourselves against when the government turns on the people turns on its people our our founding fathers understood the power of those words yes the power of those words the freedom of speech and the right to keep and bear arms that was so important for them to put it one and two. Our next one. <laughs> um, monopolizing, is that a word? I guess, yeah, monopolizing, um, purchasing of homes and things like that. Powerful investors, if you want to call them powerful investors, are buying up as much as a third of all family homes in the United States. These powerful investors, um, they have the backing of the government. Um, they let them go for tax breaks and everything. They're buying up all these, these homes and things. Yet, this is the worst we've ever been where our homeless are sleeping on the road, underpasses, and whatever. Um, the crisis of the homeless. That's actually a good, a good way to put it. Crisis of the homeless. And a lot of times, even, even in my area, if somebody doesn't pay their taxes or something, they take the home, they take the property or whatnot, um, what do they do? The house is in good condition. They knock it down so that nobody can live in it. And it, it's just grass grows there. Why is that? Because they want everybody to move into the big city. That way they can get everybody there together and control of them. And I've talked about it before, the 15-minute cities. They're here. They're actually here. They're testing them right now in multiple countries. Our next one here is our food production. Is it, is it, is it really true that the government is attacking our food production? Hmm, you tell me. They have different organizations. Look look at the bird flu. One bird tests positive. They kill them all. Everything in that has to start over. You know how long it takes for a chicken to grow up, full grown, to start laying eggs again? Mm-hmm. But... If you get rid of all the chickens, where are the eggs come from? Not to mention the eggs are seven, eight dollars. They have went down now, but they were up that high. Now let's 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 put the let's put the chickens in the backyard. Let's not talk about the chickens. I wish I could have chickens here, but they don't allow that in the cities. Let's talk about these mysterious planes that fall from the sky and could land anywhere, but no, they crash right on top of a food production place. Food packing, 
whatever. And look at all the... I think it was in 2001, we, com we completely stopped counting. It was over 100 of these mysterious uh, things that happened to food pr processing places. Anything to do with food. Food plants, you know, packing places, whatever. Mysterious burnt down, closed down, whatever. Different accidents that would shut them, shut them down or completely destroy them. Everybody stopped counting because it, it was just ridiculous. But yet, it's way back here. Nobody knows what's going on with it. If your, your people can't eat and then you give them food, you control those people. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Let's talk about our water. The water shortages in, in, in America. We're, we're, just, we're just talking about here in America. Uh, we talk about, like, we'll go out west. The mega drought. Lake Mead is the lowest it's ever been. It, it, they, they say it, it's only got maybe few, very few years left and it will be completely empty. It'd just be a little stream coming down through there. Not to mention California. Um, you can't water your grass. You can't wash your car in the, uh, like normal people do in, uh, in your front yard. You can't do any of that stuff. You have to limit how many showers you take and how much you flush the toilet and, and, unless you're your celebrity or something. But... Um, but yet during the winter time, it floods so bad. But what do they do with that water? They they channel it out into the ocean. Goodbye, water. We don't need you right now. How about saving that water until you know the drought that comes? Not to mention, yeah, I'm in Ohio. <laughs> and this goes on for other places. There, there's so much going on with our waterways and stuff. Train. We'll, we'll, we'll put it this way. A chemical that's been banned for transportation by, by trains and other things mysteriously gets off the list, the ban list. Okay, you're allowed to transport it. First time it's transported element right at the mouth of the Ohio River just a coincidence yeah that's a couple coincidences right there oh but we just made a movie about a derailment in the same the same city where this happened <gasps> coincidence yeah another coincidence the president of our United States doesn't declare this an emergency. But it's killing thousands of animals and fish. It's not an emergency, though. It's a coincidence. Yet you're wondering. And that's just one place. I could go on and on and on with this stuff. They got the transportation guy, the boutique pay guy, or whatever you want to call him. Oh, I had to take some personal time away. Oh, it'll be there when we get back. And then two weeks takes him to go to, to do anything about this place. The EPA. Everybody's in one person's house, so we, we think. And everybody's got... And there's like 30 glasses of water getting passed around in this room. Oh, what, what, oh, this is wonderful water, yes. And it's safe to drink. Yeah, right. I, I, I want them to go down to the, the end of the road and turn on the water hose and drink out of that water hose. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful water, yeah. <laughs> Wonder, wonder how many people will actually drink it. And this is going on so many different places. 
there's a reactor in uh, Minnesota that had to be shut down, and you can't drink, no drink water there. In Pennsylvania, it's the same thing. People went to the stores to get water, ran out of water in, in like 250 mile radius of this place. No water. In my little place here, in the little town right here, we, Rural King, we had, uh, they had three skids full of water. It was gone in less than 24 hours. And that's, that's a lot for here. So you can just imagine. <laughs> and that's our water. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. <laughs> our energy prices. Yep, we've 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 got the government's involved in this. It's there's there's no way about it. You see, we have oil wells all over the place where you can pump and drill and stuff like that. But you need a, a deed or a license or something like that to be able to do it. So we we go to the president and say, oh, we we want to drill oil here in the United States. That way we don't have to buy the crap from another country no 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 i refuse to give you that deed or that that license or whatever the heck it's called our last president our reserve was was pretty much empty he filled the whole reserve up we ha had the most oil in the reserve that probably for forever What's this new president do? <laughs> he shuts the pipelines down. No, we don't need no oil. We don't need no oil. Why don't we need oil? Because his son uh, is partnered with an oil company in China. Yeah, we don't need no oil. Let's make the Bidens rich by getting the oil from over there. Oh, well... We're running out of oil here in the United States because, yeah, we did stuff. Well, our reserve is about empty because we send all of our reserve over to China to get it refined because we can't do it here. No, because he shut these plants down. We didn't get license for that. No, you got to get, you need to renew your license. Who renews them? The government. No, no, no. That's our energy. Yep. Oh, we want to make everything electric. Have you ever seen these uh, electric, where they go and charge these these vehicles? There's four or five of them up there. If you get like over four or five of them, they start catching on fire and and whatnot. I've showed videos of the this, these things before, and they're. <sighs> Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Um, starting wars. Yeah. <laughs> Backing other countries that we, we get them started. Uh, used to be our, our president must seek approval of Congress to go to war. Yet, how many times have we, we've been, or, or conflict... Have we been to these things and started these things, and there's been no approval? Yeah, we've got so much going on with Ukraine, uh, Taiwan, Israel. Uh, I could keep on going and going and going. It, it everybody knows what's going on with this, and and I can go down the road and talk to five people and say. Do you think we should be sending $160 billion to a country to help them and, and give them all of our resources, our military resources? They're going to say no. Unless their, their brain is so far stuck up the media's, you know what, to realize anything.
Let's go for the next one, shall we? <laughs> our income. Our income. <sighs> this year, <laughs> the IRS has put taxing payments of $600 or more made through any process, like PayPal, Venmo, Venmo or whatever. They have to know where this money is so that they can tax it. Yes. You stop and realize, we go out and work. We have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes to work. When we get home and go grocery shop shopping, we have to pay taxes for that food. We have to pay taxes for that, uh, I don't know, our, the TV that we get, the, the cell phone that we buy. We have to pay taxes for all that. Not only that, we have to pay our city tax. Oh, we have to pay our state tax. We have to, to pay government tax. And by the time we get done, we don't have anything because the government owns that money that we have because it, it's all taxed. There's so much tax going on and they keep, and it, it's, they've, t they've raised the tax so high on every little thing, even if it's, oh, we're, we're not taxing the little people, but we'll tax that, that rich guy over there. And what's he do? He raises the price of whatever product that is, so it pays for those taxes. But who pays for that? Us, the little guy over here. Yep. Every, every little bit of income that is taken from us by our government... <laughs> They re, you know, fiddle with it and put it here and put it there and it ends up going in their pocket. Let's go to the last one here. <laughs> I've, I've kept you guys long enough. It's already, I'm sorry. Uh, the, in the end of our lives, the, the end of life monopoly, we'll, we'll put it this way. Our, our, when our family, we, we start getting old and we start getting ill because our bodies are wearing down, they're, they're not functioning good anymore, um, or we pass away. We have to pay for that. <laughs> um, we have to pay for what they left behind and, and whatnot. Whether we can afford the medical care for our elderly and whatnot, um, the government says, "Well, we can help. We we can help with that." Um, but I don't have the money to pay for it. But the government will help. What they do is sell off all your your parents' property, all their belongings. They seize it, seize all their assets, and they sell it all off and stick them in a government-run nursing home. So where they're really not taken care of the way they should be. And that's, that's the real shame right there. It's time for for the elderly to sit back and relax, visit with grandchildren, your family, and stuff like this. But no, government has to get in there to try to get that money, and then they stick you away in a a little box. Then you don't then you don't have money, to, and they they pass away and whatnot don't have money for them to pay for them. Uh, Social Security will pay for it, though. 
I, I, you probably couldn't even buy a cardboard box that big and to pay somebody to dig a hole to put you in. $255. Is that what, what the worth of that person that's lived that whole long life and paid taxes every day, that's what they get. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you at that. Uh, I've, I've kept you on here long enough. I want to thank everybody for watching. And like always, God bless.